Remove the top nut, metal washer and bottom metal washer from the cold valve. Rotate bottom nut down the valve 3 and a half inches from the top of the stem. Apply small amount of sealant to the top metal washer and place it sealant side down. Put the bottom metal washer on the valve and insert the cold valve from below. Push up and hold while screwing the top nut onto the valve. The top of the stem should be two and a quarter inches above the top surface of the sink. Place handle on the broach stem and align in desired position holding it while tightening the top nut firmly onto the sink with a wide jaw crescent wrench. Repeat for the hot valve in the left hole of the sink. Clean off any residual sealant from the top washers of valves on the sink. Unscrew and remove the three-way T with black washer inside nut from the spout shank. Remove the nut, metal and rubber washers from the spout shank. Insert the spout from the top through the center hole. Put the rubber and metal washers on the shank from below and screw on the nut hand tight to temporarily hold the spout in the sink. Rotate and hold the spout in the correct position. Tighten the bottom nut below the sink firmly with a basin wrench, or a 3 quarter inch deep socket wrench, depending on the sink thickness. Put the black washer inside the nut of 3-way T and screw onto the spout shank and tighten firmly with a 3 quarter inch wrench or adjustable crescent wrench. Position the T outlet so you have easy access to connect the hoses between the spout T and the cold and hot valve outlets. Connect the 3 8 inch nuts of the two flexible hoses to the T inlets, and connect the half inch nuts of the flexible hoses to the cold and hot valve outlets, and tighten securely. Caution do not over tighten. Place the escutcheon over the cold valve so it sits on the top of the sink. Center the escutcheon, and screw on the hub until it stops on top of the escutcheon. Lightly loosen the set screws in the handle. Place a thin business card as a spacer on top of the hub, and push the handle down until it rests on top of the spacer. Tighten both set screws and remove spacer. Repeat for hot valve. Remove stopper from drain flange. Apply a small amount of sealant slash caulking to the underside of the drain flange and place it in the sink drain hole and hold in place. Push and slide the black rubber gasket cone side up and the white friction ring onto the threaded shank of the drain flange. Then screw on the brass nut hand tight. Tighten the bottom nut firmly onto drain flange with a wide jaw crescent wrench. Remove tailpipe from lower drain body. Wrap some Teflon tape on the threads. And screw hand tight firmly into lower drain body. Complete the installation of the cold and hot water supply with flexible hoses and drain connection with a P-trap and extension tube, not included. After completion of the installation, test to make sure there are no leaks. Wipe the faucet handles, escutcheons, spout and drain off to remove any marks from handling during installation.